Hey everyone, it's Alex from Digital Craft Post Production, and today we are going to talk storage. If you are working in the creative industry, let's say as a videographer, photographer, or like me in post production, chances are that you're always in the need for more storage. And with cameras bumping up their resolution every six months or so, and the files we as creatives have to work with are getting bigger and bigger, that storage better be fast. My main editing drive up until this point was a 1TB SSD. I would have all my recent projects on it and as soon as something is done or I ran out of space, I would offload my media to a traditional NAS drive or an external USB drive. This creates two problems. While my SSD is very fast, its storage capacity is very limited. And while my NAS drive has a lot of capacity, it's way too slow to add it off. So how can you put these two things together? Most NAS devices are using a 1 gigabit Ethernet connection, which is fine if you're using normal hard drives, but is a severe bottleneck when you're using SSDs? What we plan to do, but more on that later. For this project, we are using a Synology DS1618+, Plus, which is a 6-bay NAS that has just a perfect combination of features while also maintaining a relatively small footprint, which is always welcome in a tight home office space. The DS1618 Plus additionally has a PCIe expansion slot that you can either use for an SSD cache or, more importantly, to add a 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter card. And this is where the magic happens. Since 10 gigabit Ethernet is able to provide up to 1.5 gigabytes per second read and write speeds. That solves the limitation of a slow connection to our NAS, but we still need to find a way to saturate that connection. Traditional hard drives simply do not have the performance, so SSDs are an obvious choice. With SSD prices going down considerably, this option slowly became viable over the last year or two. Seagate was kind enough to provide a set of their brand new NAS SSDs, and with capacities of nearly 2 terabytes for each drive, you will have plenty of capacity even in RAID 5. Since I don't have any PCs or Macs at hand that have a native 10 gigabit Ethernet connection, we need to use a Thunderbolt 3 adapter. These things don't come cheap, but they are essential if you want to utilize a 10 gigabit Ethernet connection on your laptop. After the initial setup, which thankfully to Synology's amazing software only took like 30 minutes or so, I did some tests transferring some recent projects of mine to the NAS and it was able to max out the reads and writes of my external SSDs no problem. Usually offloading a project or even a whole shoot is a very time consuming process. But with speeds like this you can come home from a production, hook up your SSD or your laptop, transfer your files, get a quick coffee and get back to work. Editing on the DS1618 Plus is a breeze as well. It's as fast as my external SSD with no problems or slowdowns whatsoever. And the read speeds are even faster, so opening huge Photoshop files like I have to do several times a day is much faster than before. Another huge advantage of using a NAS device as an added solution is collaboration. My girlfriend is a photographer and we are working together on a lot of different projects and jobs. Usually she would make a selection and pass that selection on to me via an external hard drive or over our normal network. This is a very time-consuming and annoying process and it also doubles our files, which is a very ineffective way to use our storage. Now we can simply connect to the same NAS device via 10 gigabit Ethernet. She can do her selection without any slowdowns and I can go into the same session in Capture One and start editing right away. While this whole setup isn't the most affordable solution, for me it's a very effective and elegant way to manage my office storage. And with SSD prices going down and a more widespread adaption of 10 gigabit Ethernet adapters or native connections, I'm sure the situation will improve in the very near future. I for myself definitely do not want to go back to handling a bunch of these. And with the Synology DS1618 Plus and 10 gigabit Ethernet, it's definitely the way to go forward for me when it comes to storage.